I'm Bob from GC Cooling. Today we're working on a 1959 Corvette. It had a little bit of cooling issues. We'll kind of go step by step through each part of the installation. But I'm going to install the thermostat. That's this guy right here. This is what turns on at 185 degrees and shuts off at 165. So there's a 20 degree differential between on and off. Um, the sensor's nice. It's stainless steel. It's all uh, laser welded together. They're very durable. Same sensor that Caterpillar uses on some of their products. Um, because of this car, we're going to put in the intake manifold right next to the water neck. It's going to need a bushing, um, so we have a 3 8 to half inch pipe adapter that we'll use in the installation. Um, okay, follow me along and we'll put it in. We'll probably get a little spray antifreeze as we're doing this live without a lot of props. So we're going to remove the sensor that was previously installed. It's right here. We have no idea what it, what it is, but it doesn't work right now. Um, I mentioned we're going to put our 185 degree one in previously. I put just a little bit of Teflon tape on it. Don't use a lot because this sensor grounds through those threads. I'm just doing it for a little bit of sealant. So don't get too crazy with your pipe sealant. So we'll see if we can get wet. Here's a little tech tip. So we just installed this cooling sensor. Um, when you put these gauge sensors in, you should take a continuity meter, like an ohmmeter, something that beeps when you do it. Check the ground from the motor to where the sensor base is. And that'll make sure that, that sensor is gonna read accurately. Not just with the cooling fan sensor, but with the coolant temp sensor, with gauges, with all sorts of things, it's really a good idea, especially if there's thread sealant involved. 